they are talking about you and they want to move you with effective effects like they want to move you right now you're welcome to prophetic intercession with amel it's always a great honor and a great privilege for me to bring you prophetic messages from the lord hallelujah place this matter to god where you are determines who you can become places are so important to god and if you are in the wrong place the wrong things can happen to you if you are in the right place right things can start happening to you and if you find yourself in a particular place where it has been programmed for destruction you might go down alongside every other person that is there and if you find yourself in a place where everyone is prospering it is just a matter of time before you too you pick up that steam and begin to prosper now God was greatly vexed with the city of Sodom and Gomorrah and wanted to destroy them. Unfortunately for Lot, he was there and he was doomed for destruction. But the Bible says that when three men were walking and Abraham was sitting under a tree, I don't know if it's an oak tree or a terebinth tree, I've forgotten the specifics. And he saw these people walking and he rushed to them and he said, please do not pass by my house like that. He did not know they were angels. But he said, do not pass by my house like that. Come and have something to eat. And after Sarah had prepared their meal, they ate and they prophesied about Isaac's coming. And the Lord was one of those people. And he said to himself, shall I hide anything from my servant, Abraham? And he decided to tell Abraham his plans of going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. And Abraham started interceding for his niece, Lord. And he began bargaining. And it got to a point where God decided to spare the life of Lord. And so while the rest of the city was doomed for destruction, Lord had to be moved from that city. Thank God for an uncle like Abraham that could, you know, um, plead his cause. Thank God the blessing, one of the blessings you can have is to have people who can speak for you even in your absence. People who can plead your cause even in your absence. And I pray that in this season, God will send such people to you in the mighty name of Jesus. People will fight for you behind your back. People will plead your cause, even in your absence. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. May the Lord bless you, keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.